How are we doing, guys? And it's finished Liverpool 1, Arsenal 1. And on the balance of 90 minutes, a draw is probably a fair score. It was a very good game, to be fair. Um, very much end-to-end -end in some respects. There was a lot going on. Um, but I don't feel any side done quite enough to win the game. Um, there were some chances. Liverpool hit the bar. In the second half, we had some moments where I just feel mm, we was a little bit short. We were waiting for, you know, one of those strikers that wants to feed off scraps and oh, just being in that right place at the right time. And yeah, it was kind of one of those games. And I think the biggest, you know, thing that I got out of the game is how much respect Arsenal and Liverpool have for each other. Two very good sides going head to head. Um, you know, and it was a tough battle. It was a tough battle for Liverpool and it was a tough battle for us. Anfield is never an easy place to go. It was absolutely rocking today. So Jurgen Klopp got his wish in that respect. Um, but I feel that what you saw from the players is the utmost respect for each other. Um, and I feel that by the end of the game, when the full-time whistle blew, you could see the respect. You could see how each you know player and manager and everything else responded with each other. And I feel that both sides will walk away from the game satisfied, you know, that they didn't lose the game, and that um, you know they get a point apiece. And there's the old saying that if you can't win a game. Just make sure you don't lose it. And that was very evident. And, you know, for us, um, the fact that Aston Villa dropped points against Sheffield United, very unexpected. It means that this point takes us top, you know, for Christmas. And I'm not saying that automatically means that you're going to win the league or anything else. We already know like, it didn't work last year, did it? But... It's just something nice. It's psychologically, you know, a little something. Um, and yeah, listen, at the end of the day, it's not two points dropped. You're playing one of the sides that you're fighting for the title with away from home as well. Um, so you've got to be happy with the point. You know, I want to win every game. Don't get me wrong. But you have to put some games into context and you've got to say you'll take it, you know. You'll take the one point and you move on. Um, and what's important now is to rest and then take on West Ham and get three points. And if you play West Ham and get three points, then you look back at games like this one where you go, that's a decent point because we followed it up with three. And, you know, West Ham, they're not going to be no mugs. They're not going to be no walkover. Look at their performance against Manchester United. Kudos in particular. He's playing so good. He is such a quality player. Um, but, you know, that's a game for another day. And we'll talk about that in the preview and everything. But, yeah, in terms of the game itself, we started off brilliantly. Um, I felt we were so good in the opening 15 minutes of the game. Um, we had a chance just before we even scored. And then we did score. Um, and then we had some kind of half chances um, some moments where a little bit of quality in the final third um, could well have seen us 2-0 ahead. And then Liverpool equalised Mo Salah. And what I will say about this was great finish, but the defending from Sinchenko was absolutely woeful. Why on earth are you allowing Mo Salah on the inside and letting him skip past you and just hang a leg the way that you did? It was really, really poor defending. There's one position... And one area that I'm looking at and I'm saying we can improve there, it's left back. You know, if Tommy Asu was fit, I've no doubt he would have probably played, um, you know, left back. But then on the flip side of that as well, I'm really worried about Ben White because um, there were moments in the second half where he was skipped past so easily and it's not like him. I don't know whether he's carrying an injury or something. Because he just doesn't look right. He doesn't look the same. Something's not right there somewhere. Um, you know, Jurian Timbar hopefully is back very soon within the next 
couple of months, February time, I would say, hopefully. But then he's got to get up to speed and everything else. But um, yeah, it's Tommy Asu. If he can stay fit, then I feel that solves a lot of the issues. But can he stay fit? Because this is this, you know, biggest issue that we've had with him of late is that he hasn't been able to stay fit. Gets a run of games. He looks quality injured. And then it's like cycle repeat. It's like so. Um, yeah, there were a couple of moments in the game. Um, Liverpool calling for a penalty in the first half. Handball uh, with Odegaard. What I'll say is, if you actually watch it, Odegaard loses his foot in and he puts his left hand down to stop his fall. It's a natural movement. The ball's played at the same time. It hits his hand. But when you fall, okay. I, what I tell you, I, what I want all of you to do right now is to fall, is to fall, because what you will do is you will put your hand down to break your fall, so do it and put your hands in your pocket, don't let your hands break your fall, see what happens to you, let me know in the comment section when you get out of A&E, alright, because you have to use your hands to break your fall, and that's what he did, and at the exact moment that he's he stumbled and he's put his hand down to stop himself, the ball comes through and it hits his hand. It's accidental. It's as simple as that. Um, so stop clutching at straws. Um, one thing I will say, the referee. I'm getting bored to the back teeth for these referees making the game about themselves. If that was the one thing. And listen, Arsenal and Liverpool can both look at it and go, we weren't happy today. There was decisions that he made with Liverpool that leaves you scratching your head. And there's decisions that he made involving us that leaves you scratching your head. There was talk, could we have had a penalty in the second half? I don't think there was a lot in it. But at the same time, the one thing I will say is, how quickly did VAR make that decision? Like, we were watching the replay, and when it goes back, the game's already started. I'm like, what's going on here? Like, when there's a possible penalty against Arsenal, they're looking at every single angle you can imagine. And they're taking 20 minutes to decide. It's like, come on, man. Um, but yeah, he was giving out cards like Santa Claus. So like, I know it's Christmas, but what are you doing? Why are you giving out so many cards? Honestly, pathetic. You know, the Kai Havertz yellow card. How pathetic was that yellow card? And that means it's his fifth of the season and he's actually going to miss the West Ham game now. So I'm just like, what? Just let the game play. It's not about you. And he very much made it about him. This is about two good sides going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other in a real good battle. Leave us to it. Move out of the way. Uh, so, yeah, look, listen, like I said, I I'm not too downbeat by it. We've um, we've come away from Anfield with a point. Um, and it is what it is. We've been to some, you know, tough away places this season. The likes of Newcastle and the likes of, you know, Liverpool and whatnot. And I'm happy with that so far. We're top of the league at Christmas. You can't not be happy with that. Honestly, you can't not be happy with that. Um, room for improvement? Yes. But listen, we'll, um, we'll move on. So listen, there we go. It's 1-1. It was a good game. And um, I think that was two good sides going toe to toe. And um, I enjoyed it. That's for sure. So, um, yeah, listen, there we go. Um, listen, um, I want to send a massive Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, there will be a DT's Daily out on Christmas Day. I'll do a Christmas Day special and everything else. Um, and we'll go over all the games on Boxing Day and whatnot and everything else. So, Listen, um, like I said, have a really good Christmas. Um, whatever you're doing, your family, you're with, your children, your partner, whoever. Have a great time, man. We've got one life. Enjoy it. Um, you know, be merry, be safe. And um, yeah, have a really good time. So um, yeah, you know what to do if you um, haven't already. Hit the subscribe button. Um, smash a like on this video. And I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.